is a great day to be at the office. I am the office worker and I am here to help. Today we're going to talk about graphics. So let's begin. All graphics are are pictures. So there's different types of pictures and um, basically to insert a picture you can go to your internet can get some clip art or any other picture you like if you want to get actual pictures you can but I just looked up clip art you can actually look up specific types of clip art just by putting right after the word clip art what kind of clip art you want maybe I want to see trees and there's all clip art of trees whatever it is you want to have you will just right click save the image into a folder. I have already created a folder on my desktop called Clip Art. I'm going to give it a name, Tree. I mean, I can be more specific, but uh, right now I'm just going to do Tree. I'm going to save that. Now, back in Word, to put that picture on here, I'm going to go to my Insert, Pictures, and get it from the file. So I'm going to make sure I go to my Clip Art folder, and in here I have some already, but here's my trees. Or my tree. And I click insert. And here's my tree. Now sometimes they will come up small like this, sometimes they might come up gigantic. That's okay because you can resize it very easily. These little boxes along the outside edges are your handles. Okay, they're resizing handles. So when you take your mouse pointer out here in the open, it's an I beam, that's where you put your text. Over the picture, you will see you have four arrows with your mouse pointer. On top of the handles, it turns to two arrows. Four arrows always means that you can move something. Two arrows always means you can resize it. So this goes for pretty much any program. So resizing, I can click and I can drag and make it bigger or smaller. If you want to do just the um, side, you can squish it in this way, or out, or the top. Oops, I grabbed the wrong thing. There we go. Um, squish it in or out. Same thing with the bottom there. Okay. Now, one thing, I'm going to just go back to my original size. If I want to keep it in proportion, I can hold my control key down while I'm resizing, and it keeps everything in proportion. Okay. And there's my tree. Now, when you have the picture selected, you will notice that this new tab appears. See, if I click off of it, it's gone. Click on it, and now I have a picture format tab. This gives me all sorts of things, all sorts of tools I can use to change my picture. So we're going to talk about these so you can know exactly what you're able to do with your pictures. It's really, really fun. Now watch this. I'm going to show you a really cool thing. I'm going to insert a picture, something that I already found, of a watermelon. Here's my watermelon. I'm going to resize it, make it a bit smaller because it's a little huge. Now right now, if I were to try to move this picture, see my four arrows, I can't. And the reason is, it's kind of locked in place. But, if I come up here to my wrap text, and I make it tight, now I have all sorts of freedom to move it anywhere I want. Okay? Now I'm going to insert another picture. Because I'm going to do something with it. I found Mr. Mike Wazowski. Now it kind of moved our, there we go. It, it moved him down here because he's locked in place. So we're going to unlock him, make him tight. I know it says wrap text and we're working with pictures, but this has to do with how the text can flow around the picture. Okay. And making the picture, making the picture tight means we have a lot of freedom to move him where we want. So we're going to move him underneath. Zoom out just a little bit so you can see him better. Okay, now I'm going to make it look like he's holding this 
piece of watermelon. Doesn't quite look that way so far, right? Now you could, sometimes you can get away with rearranging things by changing the order. There we go. There's a bring forward and a send backward. If you click the down arrow, there's bring forward or bring to front. Right now it already is in front. So we're gonna come over to the next one and send him to the back. Now he's behind the watermelon. But it still doesn't quite look right. You can see his fingers are cut off. So we're gonna click on Mike. And we are going to come over to color, click the down arrow, it's all the way at the bottom here, is set transparent color. If you click that and click the white space in his background, it will take away the background. Now, of course, it didn't look much different because the watermelon is in front, so we will just send him to the back. And there we go. Mike is now holding watermelon. Which would be cute to put on some kind of an invitation to a summer party. He's holding a watermelon. He's fun. You can put him on an invitation and people will say, hmm, oh, I want to go to that party. Now, All right, so next thing, let's uh, send them to a new page. Okay, now we're going to bring in a new picture. Now I have a collection here because I just went in and, and threw a bunch of pictures in here. But um, you can create your own collection. Again, you just go to the internet and save them into a folder. Let's insert this B. Play around with the B. Okay, so you see the white space. You can get rid of it if you want to through your color. You can also use this to change the color of the B if you want him to be green. Now change the background. So if you don't like the background, you just go to your set transparent color and we'll get rid of that. Sometimes you will get a little bit of a weirdness here. Um, that's okay. But if that bothers you, then you'll just have to find a different picture of a bee that will work better for getting rid of the background. Insert picture. I already know that I worked with, I believe, the tiger. So, blue tiger. We'll take away his background. Let's see if that's, this one works better. There we go. It's a little bit better. Not quite as noticeable. A lot of times it's crystal clear. But sometimes you will get a little bit of a weirdness. It's like it's left over. Now here's some things you can do with it. You have, you can sharpen or soften the picture. This is sharpening it. Oh, that didn't work very well, did it? That was supposed to sharpen it up or soften it. Okay. Or you have your brightness and your contrast. And here you can make them real light. Frankly, I kind of like him the way he is. He looks nice. All right, color, more variations of colors. So I can have a purple tiger if I want to. Yes, that is my favorite color. You will see it a lot. Um, Artistic effects, it's kind of a fun to play with. <laughs> that looks funny. Um, but hey, you know, maybe you're doing something real cute and fun. Transparency, this is great to make him look like a watermark almost. Real transparent. Now you can write right over this. You would just insert yourself a nice little text box right here and write right on over him and that makes him look like a watermark let's go back okay right here this is what you can put around him so you can like picture frames you can put a oval picture frame you know he's inside of an oval you can do on its side so he almost looks like he's in a postcard. 
or not a postcard, a, a picture, as if he's like one of those Polaroid pictures. That's kind of cute, actually. You can have him at an angle. That's kind of a neat one, too. All sorts of options. Another round one. Uh, thicker borders. Another angle. Chopping off the corners. It's kind of a neat little artistic trick. Um, really thick borders. He has another very thick border. This one's kind of neat because it's pointy on two sides but rounded on two sides. So that's kind of a cool one. So it just all depends on what you want for your picture. I kind of like that. All right, picture border. Now, this is actually going to not be quite what you think. It You would think it's going to be the border of the picture here. Oh, look at that. Um, a lot of times it's the picture, it's the this line right here, this black line that's around it. So you can pick whatever color you like. He's purple, the green kind of looks nice with him. There's more colors here. You can pick how thick, that's the weight. How thick do you want the line? Now it was already kind of a thick one, so that's why it didn't, didn't change a whole lot. But dashes, you can have it look dashy. Now, because we picked something from in here, it may not quite change a whole lot. So let's put that back to normal. All right, so weight. Nice thick one. We'll pick our color. We'll pick dashes. I think it's because we have something else selected. It doesn't like that. Um, okay. So that's your picture borders. Picture effects. I am going to actually take off some of this stuff so that we can see better. I think we have too much stuff happening. We wouldn't normally pile on so much stuff. There we go, it's back to normal. Okay, so picture effects in. Now I think we would be able to see the dashes if we did one. There's our dashes. <laughs> Too much stuff, too much stuff. I'm trying to show you everything at once. All right, our picture effects. You have shadows. You can give them a nice little shadow. Let's put the shadow. So you see the shadow? Okay. You can, let me take off the shadow. You can have reflection, so like a mirror image. Maybe he's looking in the water. Glow. He can glow. That's always a fun one. Ooh. He can have some soft edges. He can be beveled where he looks like he's popping out or kind of pushed into the paper. And some 3D effects. <laughs> of course, some will look better with other pictures than than what I have, but position has to do with where he is for the text on the paper. Put him in the middle of the paper if I want to. Now he's centered vertically and horizontally. Or he can be in the top corner. Okay. We talked about bring forward and send back. Your alignment. Um, this is your horizontal alignment, vertical alignment, and distribute horizontally or vertically. Now, this is great if you have more than one picture and you want them to have the spacing between them kind of evened out. You can also crop him. Maybe you don't need this whole picture. You click on the crop button and you're going to see that the handles look a little different I'm going to go on top of the handle. You'll see now my mouse pointer looks different. Click and drag. We're going to go just to his head. I'm going to go over to the side here. Okay, now you can see the boxes around that, but you still see the handles around the original picture. Then you click crop again, and now you just have a head. It's great if you want to crop out part of a picture. 
take it out by cutting it, cutting it with scissors. Okay. Over here has to do with the size of it, the size of the picture. Now, this check mark means that these two are locked together. So what you do to one will automatically change the other. See how the bottom one's moving? The width, it keeps it in proportion. Kind of like holding your control key when you're doing the, doing it from here with the handles. If I uncheck this, then what I do to one will not affect the other. So now, he's getting stretched out. Okay. Format pane. This is a pane. <laughs> not literally. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not a pain, but it is considered a pain, P-A-N-E, where you can do all the things that I was just talking about, all these tools, you can have them on the side here if you like that better. I don't because it takes up space. Oh, I gotta click the X. Okay, now I'm going to show you another thing you can do with pictures. Letterhead. I'm going to insert a picture. Of yeah, sure, we'll do the tiger. We're gonna resize him. I like to resize with the handles, but if you know a specific size, maybe a teacher wants something that's a certain size, you just come up here. Now, actually, I put him in the wrong spot because I want to do letterhead. I want to put him all the way in the header. Double click up into the header section. Now I can come here to picture from file and grab my tiger. Now let's resize them again. What we're going to do is with our wrap text, instead of doing tight, we are going to do square. Tiny Tigers Martial Arts. This is completely made up. One, two, three. Karate Boulevard. In. Hmm. There we go. Now, I kind of want to push him down a little bit. So he's lined up with the bottom of him. Oh, maybe too far. Hold on. Okay. So underneath him, I'm going to put a line. I'm going to hold down my shift key and do it my dashes. If I hit enter after doing a few of them, it draws the rest of the line for me. And now we have ourselves some letterhead. And all I did to come out of there was I double clicked into the main part of the document. So it looks faded. It will not be faded when you print. It will be just as dark as this. They do that so that you know you're not in the header anymore. Okay. Now, another thing. I will show you one more thing. And that is if you have some text, I already put my radio here. If you have some text, you can insert a picture in the text. So it's not just text. You can have a picture in there with it and have the text go around it. So I'm going to insert my picture. Oh, I went to the, that's another insert. That's the same thing. Insert picture. Sorry. Insert picture. Grab my radio. Now it's humongous. It's okay. I'm going to resize. Yoop. It's going to come up looking like this. Then all you got to do is, for the wrap text, you decide what you want it to do. You can have it do through. It's going all around it. If I move it, then I can have it, the words go all around it. That's what through does. Or, you can have, well, tight will go right. <laughs> 
sides, another one. Same idea. Square, a little bit more, uh, not so jagged around it, it's a little more tight through it. Okay. But you decide what, whatever look you like. Behind the text. <laughs> now you don't see it. <laughs> or in front of the text. Now he's right on top of it. Let's see, he's blocking text. So that's just, just showing you what that looks like. Okay. There you go. And that is all I'm going to show you for now on graphics. Hope you enjoyed. Click the like button if you did. Please subscribe so you know when my next video comes out and if you have anything you want to see that you haven't seen yet from my videos please leave a comment below so I know what you'd like to uh, learn about. Thank you so much and uh, have a nice day.